Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ark the Net 3. As we seamlessly continue where we last left off, uh, we have these chatter these weirdly named Chatternels. Um, we have these crystal gargoyles. Uh, confusion. Hmm. We could try silencing everyone. Just in case. Oh, actually, I think I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even affect affect this one. Well, okay, you can do some knife rain. That should hit all of them. Maybe I just missed one. I don't know. Okay, so they're all nicely weakened now. Ooh, they hurt. Well. That's one down. What? Oh, General Tonic. Okay. I might actually consider um, equipping uh, Alec with something other than a sword. That is to say, a knife, specifically. Or maybe a spear. For the purposes of, you know not countering and killing enemies that I would like other people to kill. Certainly an interesting problem to have. Um, Crystal Gargoyle, we... Hmm. I mean, she's not going to deal a lot of damage to any of these. Huh. Yeah, she really got, gained significantly less experience than I thought from that kill last time. I don't know. Uh, oh, right. I keep underestimating or forgetting how short the range for spells is. Oh, wow, that was actually much better damage. So maybe those, uh, both those um, Mandrake and Mushroom enemies are just really magic resistant. You know what? You just, I don't know, stand ready to... Ooh, actually, lots... Shit. Should have healed him. I did not realize how hurt he was. That's my bad. Uh, Cheryl's turn should be coming up, though, right? Uh, let's see here. Huh. Oh, he missed. He would have killed it, killed it if he had. Oh, if he had hit. Most likely, anyway. So there he goes. Cheryl, right here, a bit too late. Maybe she. Oops. Wait. Huh? Oh. We keep missing that guy. Uh oh. No, starting to run again. Ugh. Oh, damn it. So annoying. Okay. Uh, let's see. This thing only has 20 hit points, so she should be able to kill it. Now I don't know if if they're if they're just weak to air. I'm not going to risk it, and I'm going to kill this one. Yeah, well, that's pretty much guaranteed. I am going to experiment a little bit on the other ones. That should level her up, though. Or is it? Does it? Uh, yellow telephone? Yes, level up. Okay, good. Magic, magic up. Nice. Uh, you resurrect lots. Uh, actually, since he's going to be resurrected, can we please? Oh, wait. Oh, that's. I, I don't know why I have so much trouble <laughs> with. Uh, obviously, these these gargoyles and other flying enemies are. Uh, they're the spot they're on is clearly marked with a shadow, but I don't know. Sometimes I have trouble seeing that. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Channel needs healing. Uh, Marcia needs healing. Everyone needs some amount of healing. Uh, enemies. Well. Huh. Okay. So she can attack both. Actually, kill one of them. That's fine. Okay, nice. Um, experimentation time. 
Um, let's try Earth, maybe? Oh yeah, okay, so maybe they really are uh, weak against wind. Oh no, I... I'm an idiot, I meant to heal. Why did I... Why did I not do it? Okay, whatever. Steel failed. Okay, Cheryl can heal. Please don't counter, please don't counter. Okay, no counter. Good. Um, let's, oh wow, actually water leveled up. The damage is, okay, still lower than uh, than wind, so those wyvern types are obviously weak to wind. Good to know. It's definitely encouraging to see that Marcia's damage, um, yeah, Marcia's spell damage is already, even though her level is really low by comparison, it's already okay-ish if you actually hit the enemy weakness. Or at least if you don't hit their resistance. Alec, thank you for saving me again! Well, that's what we're here for, to protect you and find your dog. I mean, originally it was really just finding the dog, but oh well. When you were fighting, I remembered that Artie would never come here. His paths are too tender and this ground is too rocky. I really don't think he's here. Are you some kind of dog-doubting lunatic? You're leading us on, on a wild goose, wild goose chase. Huh. Pun intended. See, I'm so pissed I'm making accidental puns. Cheryl. It's true. He doesn't have a clue where to look. But we're following him. Ah. What now? More monsters? No, it's the Kaoyan Forest. I just remembered that's where I found Artie. It has to be where he went. Of course. Well, there he goes. Should we follow? We'll give him one more try. To Kaoyan Forest, I suppose. Alec, this is crazy. He doesn't have any idea where that dog is. He seemed awfully sure this time. Yeah. Just about as sure as the last two times. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have any better information. So we'd better check it out. You're way too nice. Ah, forget it. Yep, well, what can you do? Huh, where is he? No sign of Goose or the dog. Who goes there? Oh, hey Goose. Artie? Artie! Are you there? Come here, boy! <sighs> Hi, Alec. I wish I had better news, but he's not here either. Huh, well, we had to at least try. Ah! Huh? What if the monsters here attacked him? I mean, maybe they ate him. Uh. Well. Oh no, these are the monsters that must have got Artie! <sighs> Run! Get away before they attack! Let's see what they've got. Okay. Um, more uh, Rons. Pen pen plant. Huh, similar level. None of these seem too threatening. Okay. Hmm, no MP, so maybe these are not going to try and paralyze us? Anyway, um. Oh. Let's just. Go for a little bit of speed killing here. How weakened are they? Kind of weakened. So, we'll see. She kills them, she kills them. She did not kill them, okay. Well then. I guess Marcia can probably grab these two kills. Ok, 
counter. And another counter. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> counter. Because of course. Well, um, let's see here. Only water is leveled up enough to do anything. Uh, actually, it's probably, even if they're not weak to it, it's probably going to be enough to kill them. Actually, this might be good. Yeah, pretty good. Nice one. Amazing herb. And a level up. As always, good MP. Eh, magic went up, so I can't really complain. 24, 25. Huh, I mean. Should be able to. Wait, oh, there she is. Should be able to have Marcia kill the other two. If they don't impale themselves on Alex's sword. Or blow themselves up or something. I don't know. Do I actually need to refresh? Um, I think at the end, of, or um, after the end of the fight, status effects are gonna go away, right? 80 damage. Okay. Perfect. Oh, she didn't kill one of them. Oh, that's okay. You can cure some more. Running a bit low on MP here. But I was going to visit the inn anyway. That was actually what I what I meant to do before this little side distraction here. Steel failed. Well, I tried. Okay, um... Light arrow. Oops, light arrow. Just... Out of curiosity. 26 damage, okay. So that deals more damage than the level 2 water spell. Whether that means that they're weak to light or resistant to water, I don't know. Magic up, nice. So, please... This would be the perfect time for Archie to, to come running in. That was great! Thank you so much for protecting me! Well, do you have any idea where the dog is now? I don't. I'm just at my wit's end. It's stupid to keep looking. I'm just putting all of you in danger. But that's our job. Are you giving up? Well, not really. I just realized that Archie didn't need me as much as I needed him. He left to show me that I can survive on my own. Uh, okay? I'm going home. But you'll never find out what happened to Artie. I don't need to know any longer. Thank you for helping me, though. Artie. This is a weird way to finish the job. Artie was more than a pet to Goose. I think he just needed to keep looking for his own peace of mind. That way... He wouldn't have regrets later. Well, that makes sense. Is that why is that why you were following him on that ridiculous search? I just wanted to help him. And it was clear that he was serious about finding the dog. Hmm. Alec, are you still worried about him? Yeah. Maybe we can check in on him? Yes, let's. Okay, but just a quick visit. I mean since the restaurant is literally on the way to the to the inn. That is no trouble at all. Goose, it's about your dog. He's... I don't want to hear it. I can't reopen that wound. Huh? Oh. Oh, Artie, you were my best friend. 
Yes, yes, Goose. We all know that, but right now, I call him a nuisance. Nuisance? Why would you say such a terrible thing? Because he is. Is? Don't you mean was? No, that little mud is tearing up the carpet at the second floor. On the second floor. Huh? Really? So he was here this whole time, huh? Also, how is that tiny little cute dog? Tiny cute little nuisance. Like, I don't know, how old must he be to, uh, to have been around since before the disaster? Uh, maybe not that long, but still. Archie! Feed that little monster before he eats his whole place. <laughs> this whole place. Archie! Oh, you've been here all along? I'm so sorry, I thought you were gone. You must be so hungry. Um... Alec, look at this! It's Artie! Say hi, Artie! That's great. I'm so happy! Can I ask you something? Sure, what? Has that dog been upstairs all this time? Seems like it. The innkeeper said he was caught in a closet. Well, you didn't see that. We were here, but... Whatever. Isn't it funny that we were running all over when he was here all the time? Yeah, funny is one way to put it. Wow! Cheryl, calm down. Yeah, but we could have said we could have saved so much time if you just checked upstairs first. It doesn't matter now. Think of all the experience that uh, that Marcia gained. Isn't that worth anything? Anyway, it's in the past. He found the dog, and that's all that matters. Job complete. I'd appreciate Artie so much more after this. I can see how that would happen. Maybe someday we'll be as close as you. Us? Yeah, you all seem to be so close, it's great. <laughs> Are you going to feed that mud this this century? <laughs> Whoop, I have to go. Thanks again. See you around. <sighs> well, Goose seems happy. I'm glad he found the dog. But all that time... Even though you're talking mad, I can see you're happy too. What? Hey! It's hard not to like the little mutt just a little. It is cute. Indeed. Well, this job is a success. Let's report to the guild. Guild job 49. Woof! Find the pet dog completed. No, no, no. Let's not... Can I please... I would like to stay. No, game. Don't... Was that really necessary? I guess they had to make me leave the map to reload the normal, not quest version. I mean, they could have just, you know, have the screen fade out and fade back in or something, but oh well. It was probably easier to do the, that way. I heard about the trouble that Knucklehead Goose caused. That's par for the course with that weird kid, I tell you. Okay, good to know. I mean, if we had known that before, maybe we would have thought about searching the uh, immediate vicinity first, but oh well. Thanks for your patronage. No problem. Okay. Let's finally save. After uh, much longer than I would have normally wanted. Yep. Okay. Um, what are the other jobs we have? There was one in the library. Right. And then... The, what I can only presume is the Rainbow Bridge Brigade again at the river. And then, of course, all the Wanted Monsters. I guess while we're in the town, let's check the library. We did quite a bit of fighting lately, so... A minigame quest, if this is really going to be one. Would be a nice change of pace. Hey, uh, Mozart, was it? <laughs> Great, I didn't expect to end up here again so soon. This place is too dark and smells funny. It gives me the creeps. Good cover. <laughs> You're just intimidated by the books. Lots. shh. This is a library, remember? You have to be quiet or we'll be in trouble. Uh, excuse me, I'm here on a request for the guild. From the guild. 
Oh, good. I've been beside myself waiting. Please, tell me what happened. Well, we noticed the problem a few days ago. This library is a storehouse for many valuable documents from all over the world. But yesterday we discovered that one of our most prized books had pages ripped out of it. Ooh, call out the page police. It's just a book. What kind of crisis is that? Lance, shh. Well, what kind of book was it? It's a book that documents the history of the Milmana Kingdom. It's even more valuable because it's illustrated. And now the history of the Milmana royal lineage is missing. This isn't good. Sounds boring. Really boring. I'm sure you question the urgency of an incident like this. But for the library, and as a storehouse of the world's knowledge, this is a crisis. Alec, you must discover who has done this, so we can get the, the illustration back. I understand, I'll certainly do my best. Do you have any clues that might help us? I mean, the job did say that he had some suspects already, right? I'll tell you what I know. On the second floor of the library, I have gathered the people who had access to the book. The first suspect is Yonan. He's always in the library. Okay, the guy with the glasses. Have you met him before? Uh, no, I don't think we've met. That little four-eyed weirdo has spent too much time reading. Maybe he likes <laughs> likes uh, books a little too much. Maybe he wanted to keep a few pages for himself, huh? Uh, I would call him a prime suspect. Well, I'm not certain he's the one. He's usually a hard-working kid and a promising student. Okay, next. <laughs> you idiot. Next is a student of the Spell Institute, Kulpuni. Kulpuni? He's the culprit. Yep, for sure. He has that look. I can't imagine someone attending the Spell Institute would steal. <laughs> yeah, that has never happened. Um. <laughs> if, Tifa, if Tifa can do bad, this guy could too. That makes him a prime suspect. I understand that anyone can do wrong, but I just don't see it in this one. He's such a normal, serious student, very polite. Oh, um, never mind. Can't you keep quiet for even a second, Lutz? The third person upstairs is Mr. Gans. Oh, no, it's that guy. Clearly, he looks like a thug. He stops by every now and again, reads something in a hurry and leaves. I would say he's on the strange side, and I have no idea where he lives. That's the one! With bad fashion sense like that, he's a... Prime suspect? Well, I would be inclined to agree that his sense of style is lacking. However, it would be hasty to judge another from outward appearance. <sighs> I'm gonna keep my eye on that one. Yeah, if you can muster the brain power to run that thing. The fourth person... Per person? The fourth person is a monk from a major temple. Huh, I mean, those guys look suspicious as heck, but... I mean... I really don't think it's him, but I had to gather all the possible suspects. In any case, he was very cooperative, which I appreciate. You never can tell, though. The training, all the stress. Who knows, maybe he just snapped and tore out pages to vent his frustration. That makes him a prime suspect. But he's a monk. Don't they have an oath or something? Oh, uh, never mind. Maybe we could get you to take on <laughs> to take an oath of silence. Actually, the both of you. That would be quite... Quite nice. And the last um, <clears throat> one is my head librarian, Mular. Okay. Librarian? Why would a librarian be a suspect? And that's exactly what the criminal is counting on people thinking. That makes him a prime suspect. Well, I don't know about that. But he was here and he did have access, so I put him with the others. Of course, he readily complied. Hmm. Then he's not the one. <sighs> you are so stupid. Just think before you open that big mouth. Look who's talking, big mouth. That, that'd hurt if I cared what you thought, idiot. Ah, oh, I'm just tired of all your prime suspect crap. Yeah, well, at least I have a detective like mind. That's defective, numbskull. I know you are. I know you are, but what am I? Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lots and Cheryl, enough. Jeez. 
We're only going to find out who really did did this by talking to everyone. Uh, to, by talking to everyone, yes. Uh, let's let the library manager continue. Well, now, that was... What was I saying? Uh, oh, yes. As soon as I discovered the problem, I sealed the library. I believe the actual criminal is still upstairs. I've got it. Got what? Whatever it is, hopefully it's terminal. <laughs> uh. Detective Conan, solve the case. I know who did it. What? Are you sure, Lutz? Yeah, sure, he's a moron. <laughs> I've been dedica uh, what? dedicating a lot of thought to this. Really? It sounded like you were mostly bickering with Cheryl. Haha, <laughs> that's part of my clever plan to fool others. I was working on this problem. Don't let what I'm going to tell you shock, uh, shock you too much, but... Spill it, genius. Well, <clears throat> now I um, I noticed something while I was listening to the manager's introduction of each suspect. Well, uh, Spill, I realized that the answer was before us this whole time. Yes? The culprit is on the second floor. Idiot, we already knew that. We need to know which of the people up there actually did it. There is more than one, remember? Well, that was a waste of time. We should start by interviewing the people on the second floor. I agree. Good luck. When they're when you're done, please come back here and let me know who did this. Yeah, I mean. Okay, Alec. Let's find that page puller. With a great detective Lutz on the case, this won't take long. Yeah, not long before you make a wreck of it. Good thing we have Alec and Marcia to lead the way. I'll do my best. Let's get started. Oh boy. Okie doke. Oh, what? Derp. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on. What? What are you doing? No! I, I'm not... <laughs> Why would you even let me leave before I talk to anyone? Oh, come on, that's so stupid. Just one false button press. Okay, there we go. Holy crap. Uh, hello, I, I'm Kulpuni. I'm a student at the Spell Institute in Rusat. I'm really honored to meet you, Marcia. In fact, that's why I came here why I come here to study hard so I can be like Marcia. Um do you mind if I ask for your autograph? I hardly think this is the time for... I'm sorry, you're right. First things first. I don't know why I'm being held here. As you know, my interest is Gaia magic. A picture from a history book is not going to help me, so why would I want... Why would I do that? <laughs> yep. When I arrived, I passed that scary gang-looking guy. Gantz, I think. I remember because he was staring at me. I freak It freaked me out. I also bumped into someone when, when I left, but I don't recall who. I know I didn't see Yonan. Hmm. That was strange, because he's a regular, and I didn't see him at all. You know, that seems even more suspicious now. It kinda does. Thank you so much for taking the time to figure this out. It's true that as a librarian I had easy access to the book in question. But I've been a librarian for years. Why would I wait until now to steal pages from the book? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it does not. I think it's that Gantz guy. I heard he's uh, hard up for money. He doesn't even know how to read. He was reading books upside down. He's the type of guy you should be talking to, not me. I got the late. I, I got here late because I had a business affair to attend to, so I didn't open the library on time. <sighs> what was my business? Well, I can't really say here. It's kind of personal. But it had nothing to do with the case. It took a lot longer than I expected, so when I got here, it was nearly closing time. I looked around to make sure every everything was okay and bumped into someone. It wasn't Gantz, but I don't remember exactly who it was. Everything seemed alright, so I locked the door and went home. Okay. Hey, Yonan. Hello, I'm Yonan. I was glad to hear that you caught the, uh, that you caught the Academy. 
It must have been quite a battle. A hunter going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Academy? I wish I could have seen it. How can anyone even consider me as a sus suspect in the theft of the pages? I'm a regular here. Why would I do such a thing? Besides, I'm too busy with scheduled scu studying and uh, to look at illustrated books. And I'd never take the time to read an illustrated history book. Do I look like the type that rip out a picture of a princess and her retainers? <laughs> and her retainers? What? Do you think I'm illiterate? What? My alibi? My, uh, alibi? Uh, you still want an alibi? Um, yeah. Good god, this is all complete nonsense, but here goes. When I entered the library, there was a guy that looked like a gang member. He was really anxious about something. When I left, I walked past the librarian, Muller. I remember that because he had a look on his face, a weird look. I found it strange. The whole time I didn't see the Amater monk. There, you happy now? I hope you can get this solved so we can go. Hmm. I'm Silva, a monk of Amater Temple. For a monk of Amater, fortifying the mind is as important as building the body. We hold study of these books in high regard. Since we value them so greatly, why would any monk deface even one book by removing pages? I swear on the Archmonk Iga, I am innocent. Huh? On Iga? That's a little weird, don't you think? Is it? Not once you realize that I admire Iga more than any other. I mean, he is the Archmonk. Okay, whatever you say. Now, I'll tell you what I told Mor Morzat when, I asked, when he asked me. When I got here, the library was closed. That was strange, because usually the librarian is here before me. The manager opened the door instead. Uh, the manager opened the door instead and let me in. I remember he had red eyes. He must have been studying all night. When I left the library, I passed another person, but I don't know who it was. I do not recall seeing the one that looks like a gang member. Okay. How long are they gonna hold us in this crappy joint? Come on. What the hell? I ain't no suspect. I mean, yes you are. Why are people always judging me without even getting to know me? What? I'm not allowed to come to the library now? Uh, I bet none of these jokers even knows what my name is, uh, that my name is Gans. No, oh, actually everyone knows. This is just damn ridiculous. Believe it or not, I'm a quiet person who likes to read. If you'll listen, I'll tell you what I saw when I arrived. When I got here, I passed that annoying kid with the glasses. I also passed someone when I left, but I don't remember who. That's a common theme. I'm sure I didn't see the Amater guy. They, uh, though they creeped me out, I would have remembered. Look, I told you everything I know. Can I please go home now? Uh... <sighs> hmm. So... Assuming all the information here is, is like, I mean, assuming there are no mistakes introduced into all these, all this dialogue via the translation, and all the information is as the developers intended, it's probably possible to reconstruct like a, a timeline of who arrived when. I mean, everybody seems to agree that Gantz looked, I don't know, looked uh, agitated or something, and that he's super suspect, super suspicious, but I don't know, I'm not buying it. That seems too obvious. That's like the obvious choice that, um, I don't know. Hmm. This guy said that he did not see Yonan. Uh, sure. I'm not a final suspect, am I? Remember what I told you about what I saw? He passed, so, he says Gans was already there when he arrived. Right. He bumped into someone when he left, but he doesn't remember who. But not Yonan. So does that mean he did not see Yonan at all? Like the whole time he was there? Or 
Hmm. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, when he arrived, he remembers seeing Gans as well, who seemed anxious. When he left, he walked past Mueller, so Mueller was there as well. But he arrived late. Weird look. He did not see the monk. So the monk was there first, right? He was there before the librarian? Yes, the library was actually closed when it shouldn't have been closed. Right. The librarian was not there. The manager opens the door instead. Hmm. When he left, he passed someone, but he doesn't remember who. And he does not remember seeing the, seeing Gans. But if he was first... I mean, is it a matter of, of finding out who was there first? Or who was... who was there last. I mean, the, hmm, wait. This this makes little sense anyway because they all speak about arriving and leaving at some point, but so that they that they like get all of them back here the next day for the hearing, basically. What's your story? Right yet business affair, but it's personal. That seems to contradict. It seems suspicious. He doesn't want to say what his business was. Took longer. When he when he got here, it was nearly closing time. Bumped into someone? Not Gans. Hmm. I don't know. If I had to... I, I, I don't know. Um, the solution doesn't really jump at me here, to be honest. If I had to guess, it's probably either him, uh, that is Mueller, just because his story seems... It seems like he's hiding something. Um, or maybe it's the monk, who seems... Um, like, like, it, it, like he couldn't possibly be the culprit, but I don't know. For some reason, Marcia found it strange that he would that he would swear by uh, by Archmark Iga, which I didn't find strange. Strange, but I don't know. We'll see how the game handles this. I don't know if the if the job is going to fail immediately. How's it going? Well, uh, well, sort of. This is wonderful. I knew they sent the right hunter for the job. Uh, well, it's a bit early to celebrate, actually. The reason I'm not 100% certain is that something still bothers me. Exactly what I was, think what I was thinking, really. As each person told their story, it was obvious there were inconsistencies. Yeah? Perhaps if we can examine their statements in more detail. I'll recount what we know. Okay, maybe we'll get some extra information here now. The biggest problem is that the entrance order is not consistent across all stories. She's right. Can't argue with that. <sighs> Let's just cap it. What do you mean, Marcia? I need to think about it a little more, but... There's a good chance that someone is lying. The thief, no doubt. <sighs> well, that or someone with something else to hide. That's just the combustion I arrived at. That's conclusion, moron. My realization was more explosive than that, girly. <laughs> so, who's lying? We won't be able to get a good idea until we put their statements in order. Sounds reasonable. This is getting interesting. Of course it is. I'm on the case. <sighs> Alright then, let's organize their statements. How should we go about that? Let me see... How about we each take the role of one of the suspects? And we can arrange ourselves in the order of arrival. Marcia will be Mular, 
the librarian, and I'll be Silva, the monk. Okay. Lutz will be the gang member. Gans, of course. Of course. Hey, I resemble that statement. <laughs> Yonan, um, Theo, can you be him? I'll try. And that leaves Cheryl to play the student, Kulpuni. No problem. Okay. You need to stand in line. Well, alibi inspection. Okay, let's practice a little. Each of you speak your character's alibi. I'm Silva of Amator. I think he arrived first. When I got here, the library was closed. That was strange because usually the librarian is here before me. The manager opened the door instead and let me in. I remember he had red eyes. He must have been studying all night. Is that important? When I left the library, I passed another person, but I don't know who it was. I do not recall seeing the one that looked like a gang member. Huh. I'm Gans. When I got here, I passed that annoying kid with the glasses. Right, so... So he arrived after... Yeah, so so the, the monk must, be the, must have arrived first. Because he did not pass any of the others upon entering. And when he left, by the time he left, um, Gans was already gone. Uh, when Gans arrived, uh, Yonan was already there. He passed someone when he left, but he doesn't remember who. That did not see the monk. That's Yonan, when he entered. Uh, so, okay, so Gans claims that he didn't see Yonan at all, but Yonan says that he saw Gans. <sighs> when I left, I walked past the librarian Mueller. Right, makes sense, because Mueller, I think... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mueller, um... So Mueller arrived before he left, before Yonan left. God, all the names. And then remembering who represents whom here. This is so, so confusing. Ugh. The whole time he, I didn't see a Mater Monk. Uh, the Mater Monk. I'm the student Kalpuni. When I arrived, I passed that scary gang looking guy, Gans, I think. Huh. I also bumped into someone when I left, but I don't recall who. I know I didn't see Yonan. I'm the librarian Muller. I got here late because I had a business affair to attend to. Uh, took a bit longer. Looked around to make sure everything was okay and bumped into someone. It wasn't Gantz, but I don't remember exactly who it was. Uh, everything seemed alright, so I looked, locked the door and went home. I don't know. That's... Yeah, so from the statements, we can only tell uh, where two of the five were for certain in the timeline. Okay, so, I mean, is the game going to actually spell it all out for me? Because I wouldn't mind that. The Amater Monk Silva and the Librarian Mueller. What? Idiot. The Amater Monk was the first in, right. We can verify this by asking the manager here. I mean, yeah, we, we could just ask him about the order of appearance, right? Was he the first in? Indeed, he was the first one who came that day. And Mueller, the librarian, is the only one that can lock up at night. So he had to be the last one out. Exactly. So our task is down to the other three. Good job, Marcia. Hmm. She takes after me. How can we figure out the correct order for the other for the other three? Well, we know that... Oh god, uh, Marcia... No, not Marcia. Um, we know that Gantz arrived after Yonan. So he's either the second or, or... Well, the third or the fourth to arrive. And Yonan is either the second or third. How about this? When Alec talks to you, repeat the alibi of your suspect. For example, if Alec talks to Lutz... 
Huh? Me? Yes, you would repeat, uh, repeat Gans's alibi. Got it. Then Alec will decide if you are well, if you are the correct person for the next position. Um, wait. Yeah, yeah, okay. You will build the timeline statement by statement. Alec, if you think their statement puts them next in line, say yes. If not, or if you want to hear another statement first, say no. Got it. Okay. Uh, if this helps you decide who's lying, come to me. Of course, you can check the order as many times as you like. Just check in with me after each attempt. Okay. Alright, let's begin a closer inspection of the alibis. Let's actually hear hers again. Kopuni. Past the scary gang looking guy. That means he was already there? So it must be Yonan, if they all tell the truth, it must be Yonan, Kopuni. No, wait. Uh, Yonan first, then Gans, then Kopuni. Uh, Yonan Gans Kopuni, he did not see Yonan. So maybe uh, Yonan was already gone by the time he arrived. Right. No. Um, I mean... Maybe it's this, this easy, so... Let's go with that. Yonan... Gans? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, that's my best guess. Uh, he said to check in with him, huh? Uh, continue slipping. Okay, whatever. Um, yes. Yes. Maybe. Well, we have the lineup in order now. I suppose we should hear each story in turn, Alec. Ugh. So we're going to hear the, each alibi like a uh, fifteenth time now. The Mater Monk came to the library and had the manager open it for him. He saw someone when he left, but doesn't remember who. Um, Yonan saw Gans when he entered the room. Wait, what? Damn it! Ah, uh, do I have them actually reversed? Yonan saw Gans. Okay, yeah, nope. Of course I got it wrong. After all this, that's uh, so typical. <sighs> when he left, he saw Mueller, but he never saw the Amator Monk. I s okay, now I see how, how this works, actually. It's really simple. Uh, okay, so of course, he must be the last. So so basically, it's it's basically... Um, wait, he didn't see the Amator Monk. Oh, unless he's lying. So it can't be... No, no, wait, that, of course, that works. So, uh, Kopuni and, and uh, Yoran need to be reversed, actually. Well, can I please reset? Yeah, that's not right. Gans entered and saw... Actually, hmm. Saw Yonan? He bumped into someone when he left, but it wasn't the Emator Monk. No, because the Emator Monk was the first one. Kapuni entered, he saw Gans and bumped into someone when he left. So is Gans the second? Then Kopuni, then Yoran? But he he says he didn't see Yoran. No, okay, I, I give up. Then Mueller locked the door when, and went home. That's everyone. I mean, someone's also lying, that doesn't help. Uh... <sighs> hmm... Wait, does the rest... did the rest actually add up? Um... Set the line up.
Uh, let's let's just see what happens here. I have a pretty good idea of who the guilty party is. Fantastic news. If you want to bring those suspects down, we can get this over with. I mean... God, this has taken like, what, 30 minutes? And it's probably not over, because <laughs> I'll need to most likely start this whole thing over, but I'm going to do that off-camera, of course. Oh boy. Uh, Alright. Now that we have you all here, we can finish this. One way or the other. A valuable book has been vandalized, and it's my job to find out who of you did it. Therefore, we have to uh, we have interviewed you and uh, you all and examined your alibis at length. You could say that. Upon closer examination, we're, we've determined that one of you is lying, and that person must be the thief. It ain't me. It certainly isn't me. Why am I even standing here? I am innocent. Alec, the suspense is killing me. Come on, tell us who did it. All right, all right, lads. The thief is... No. Why do I have to choose? Um... I don't think it's the monk. Except, wait. So the monk said... He did not see... Uh... God, no. I, I... I'm mixing all, all the names and and all the orders up. It's, uh, it's no use. I'm going to repeat this and actually write down everything and that way it's going to be easy, but my memory just doesn't... It just isn't good enough for this. Um, let's, let's pick the obvious choice. I don't know. Sure. I mean, I don't actually think it's him. You gotta be kidding me. Ha! You wish! Gans, we organized the alibis for the day the pages were stolen. And we discovered that you lied. I knew it all along. Come on, fess up and it'll, be, and it'll go easier for you. When did I lie? Well... Don't try to bamboozle us! You're guilty! I know this game. You just looked at me and figured I was a thief, eh? Because you are! Or is he? Wait, what? Something Gantz said still doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about now? You said that you like to read. Yeah, so sue me. But Mueller said that he's seen you reading books upside down. That's exactly, that's the one thing that made me think that maybe he is actually it, even though it seems too, too obvious to be the case. He saw wrong, that's all. I'm certain of what I saw. Yes, do you really know how to read? Yeah, I can read. Real good, too. If you got the point, now would be a good time to make it, Missy. I'm just trying to get to the truth here. Gans, tell us the truth. Okay, you got me. Like you said, I can't read. But why do you come to a library, then, thief? No! I'm not a thief. I'd never tear a page out of a perfectly good book. I just want to read so bad. But you can, can you? I I can't, but I come here every day trying to read and someday it'll pay off big. I just know it. That's it. I was just trying to teach myself to read. Why didn't you just ask someone to teach you? I I was embarrassed. A grown guy like me not being able to read? That's just stupid. Besides, what what, what? why did that I swear that text box advanced on its own. Everyone thinks I'm some kind of gang member. That's not true. She's right, you know. I'd be happy to teach you to read. Really? Of course. I can't believe it. That was so damn... That was too damned easy. And to think all this time... Well, you'll get it soon enough. The path to learning should remain open to all. I don't rightly know how to thank you. But know that I... Uh, wouldn't have torn no book. I love books. I like Marcia. I don't think this is our man. Yeah. What to do now is the question, I suppose. What was that? Did you see it? Over by the stairs. Well, yeah, I did. I don't know. Let's check it out. So, was it really none of these guys? Manager! 
You must see this. Let me see. What is it? I can scarcely believe it. What? This is the page that was torn from the book. We still don't know how to do uh, who did this, but at least we got the page back. Um Alec. Yes. Since we retrieved the stolen page, I believe we should discontinue the investigation. What? But someone must have torn it out, even even if they didn't steal it. Uh reluctantly I agree. Well, thank you for your patience and cooperation, everyone. Even though Alec here con conducted a thorough investigation, we failed to find the thief. However, we did recover the missing page, so we're closing the case. You're free to go. This... I don't know, is this supposed to go this way, or... I'm really confused here. I'm sorry that your efforts to find the thief came to nothing, but I did learn something. I learned to trust that all things will eventually come to light as they were meant to. I must now return to Amado Temple. Goodbye. Weird. You were thorough in your efforts to find the thief, but in my opinion, he was already long gone. I mean, there was no thief, if the page is still here. Before I met you, I considered hunters very very reliable. Hmm. Now I might have to reconsider that position. What an ass. Perhaps the Academy's way is the future. Okay, that's him. It was tough, tough going during the interrogation, but at least my little problem came out. I'm gonna let the library manager teach me how to read. Uh, I guess I can thank you for that. See you around. I really look up to Marcia, but it's good to know that even she can make a mistake. I mean, it wasn't her who, who solved the, the case, quote-unquote. It makes me feel even closer to her. Well, see you around. I mean... I'm, I'd be perfectly fine with this outcome, if the game doesn't mark the quest as, I don't know, not perfectly solved now. Well, the stolen pages were returned, but the actual thief remains a mystery. I'm really sorry I couldn't be of more assistance. That's not your fault, Marcia. It was my job to fail. Uh, what? Was it my job to fail? Okay. Maybe if we had just followed Marcia's lead a little more. Uh, I don't think it would have made a difference. This was a tough case. Hmm. Well, it is only one job. It could be worse. At least Lutz isn't leading us. <sighs> hey, what are you trying to say? I'm saying you're generally a complete screw-up. Okay, guys, enough of that. Well, we failed this one pretty bad, but it was hard. I mean, did we really fail it so hard, though? I mean, on the other hand, if, if I had actually succeeded... Um... We wouldn't have seen this little scene with uh, with Gans about his his trying to or his his wanting to learn to read. <laughs> kind of interesting that. Hmm. I mean, I, I'm I assume there is one correct solution, but it's interesting to see that even if you if you fail the quest, there are still unique bits of dialogue to see and you know bits of the story, if you will, that wouldn't have surfaced otherwise. Well, cheer up. There's always another job around the corner. Exactly. Let's get on with it, then. <sighs> Failed. Uh... I mean, you know I can't just accept this. I'll have to... I mean, it's just about time to end the episode anyway. Uh, I can't believe how freaking long this job took. Of course, with all the reading and rereading. Um, I guess it's probably really boring. So I apologize if uh, if you feel that way, but well, it's what it is. Uh, maybe a bit more action next time, and also the actually correct solution to this to this job. I'm going to spend a bit more time off camera trying to figure stuff out, writing notes down and stuff. So yeah, um, look forward to that. I guess uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. As always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.